Hello friends, it's me again May and I hope that you're doing okay. In today's video, I am going to be journaling on my Hobonichi notebook and planning for June 2023. So this is what the side of my Hobonichi notebook looks like now and it's gotten really chunky and I'm so happy about it. Uh, first, I'd like to start by giving you a relaxing flip through of my May pages. going to show you my monthly page so when we last did this together I only finished the first half so now that the month is over I have completely filled out the page and this is what my last month looked like so now let's start planning for June so I am going to be using these Japanese stickers uh, they are also available on my coffee shop linked in the description below if you're interested so they're really really nice um i think i can either go with something green or brown but i think i'm gonna do light brown this time um, i've highlighted these using my liners in the past but today i think i want to use one of my colored pencils this is my sakura watercolor pencils that i got from stationery pal i'm gonna get this light brown colored pencil So now I'm going to just go over the calendar's borders. And here at the top as well. I'm not really trying to draw a perfect line. Uh, I'd like it to be a little bit imperfect and uneven. Okay, so that's it for the calendar. As usual, I am going to highlight my work days but i'm not gonna do it with pencil anymore i am going to use my tombow uh dual brush pen 992 to mark my work days so i usually work mondays through fridays now that that's done we can go to the fun part which is decorating the page so first, I'd like to show you some of my new washi tapes that the washi tape shop has very kindly gifted me. You can use my code in the description to get 10% off of their site. So I'm just trying to pick which ones I want to use for today's video because honestly, all of them are really good. So I got these traditional washi tapes as well. They're so beautiful. These are really nice as well. So we have the 1st and 2nd of July here in the corner. And I think I want to decorate that using one of these brown leaves. So yeah, like what I said before, if you are a bit intimidated by uh, starting on a blank page, you can always start with a flower or a plant. I'm going to use this one. Okay. 
that looks nice so I'm going to grab my tumble again and just circle six and then highlight June and 2023 and I'm going to use this mushroom sticker over here I've always had a cute girl on my monthly spreads. So this is for May, April. Oh, by the way, I have restocked the fairy sticker sheets on the shop if you're interested. And this is for March and February and January. So I'm going to choose a really nice girl sticker for June. I'm just trying to decide if I want these traditional washi tapes or these really cute ones. Okay, I'm going to use one of these. They're really, really cute. So I am going to use this really cute sticker. Before I put the sticker down, I'll just quickly cover these weeks with a correction tape so that they don't see, um, I don't see them through this sticker. And now we'll be placing this one over here. So might cover the 26th, but that's fine. I'll know that it's the 26th. So it's one of the struggles that I have with having a really small planner with the A6. But honestly, I really don't mind because I feel like I'm going to get overwhelmed if I switch to the A5. And... If I switch to the weeks, uh, I'm going to find it too narrow for me, so I still think that this is the perfect size. And on the side, I'm going to use this sticker, just as if it's hanging down. I'm wondering if I can place it here. Yeah, that's nice. And then I'll use this butterfly sticker over here. And just like that, the side part is finished. On this blank space here, I want to do a calligraphy for June using my Pentel uh, sign pen. So, nothing fancy, just very, very simple. I hope this fits. Okay, and it does. Just underline it. Okay, let's now cut that. Okay, so now that most of the decoration is done, I'm going to be planning my days for the month. I removed my sweater because to be honest, I was only wearing it for the aesthetic, but it's really, really hot in here. It's the temperature in the apartment is 25 degrees. So it's really summer now. So for the first of the month, um, I just want to upload the very, very late February shorts. It's just a short flip through of my February pages. I'm pretty sure by now that you've already seen that. With that, I'm just going to use this egg sticker. I don't know why. Actually, it has no reason for that. So I'm going to take it back. 
Um, a new documentary is releasing that day and I really want to watch that. It's about the nuclear disaster in Fukushima. So I'm going to write it here with a TV doodle. The title is The Days if you want to check it out. So I'm just going to choose this flag sticker because it was a disaster. <laughs> Why do I feel like I have to justify every sticker that I use? So yeah, that's it for Thursday. Nothing really special is happening on Friday. So on Saturday, I am going to upload another late short, which is my March flip through. On Sunday, we're going to a picnic birthday party for my friend's daughter. Uh, and I'm going to write picnic at Aoyama. And I want to use one of these really cute cottage core stickers. I'll go with these flowers. So on this week of June, two of our closest friends back in Manila are visiting. So we are going to have dinner with them probably on Tuesday. I am going to use this sticker from my cottage core sticker sheet uh, and put this on here maybe but it's a little bit big so I'm gonna cut it okay yeah it's one of the things you have to deal with when you use the a6 size planner like you always have to worry about not having enough space. So I'm going to put this here. Okay. And just making sure that it aligns perfectly with the border. So on the weekend, I'll probably be busy packing orders and Patreon rewards to make sure that they get delivered by the end of the month. Uh, I am going to use this book and coffee sticker to go with that. Uh, one question that I get asked a lot was that how come I know exactly what's going to happen in the month? That is because in addition to keeping this planner, I also keep a very detailed Google Calendar where I plan my not only my days, but how I spend every hour of every day if I can. Um, that way I don't waste time and I stay as productive as I can. So yeah, that's how I know the important days of the month. I do a little bit of digital, no, actually a lot of digital planning together with my system here. Um, on the 12th, this I have work. Uh, on the 14th, it's a very special day. I'm going to meet a very special childhood friend of mine. Yeah, she's visiting from Manila. And we are going to go to the Ghibli Museum. So yeah, I want to pick a really nice sticker to go with that. I think I'm going to choose this one since I'm going to play. I'm essentially playing hooky and skipping work on that day. So it says, let's take a little break. And then the clinking of two mugs. It is too big for the 14th. Wait, am I doing anything special on the 21st? I'm really not. So maybe I can just cover that. Yep, we all have to make sacrifices. That's okay. So here. Oh, oh my god, it's so satisfying. It fits perfectly on the Hobonichi Square. The 15th is when my husband gets paid his salary. So I'm going to choose this small and cute sticker of a man who seems to be really happy. And put it here. 
the 16th is when Black Mirror, the new season, comes out. Like, I'm so, so, so excited for that because it's been too long. Like, I wish we have a new season every year. So, Black Mirror. So, to go with that, I'll just use this cute couch sticker. Um, you can get these small stickers from my sticker shop as well. So on the 17th, I am going to the Yayoi Kusama um, Art Museum here in Tokyo with my friend. So that's the last time I see her before she goes back to Manila and I really want to spend some time with her because I don't know when I'll see her again. So I'm going to use this camera sticker from the washi tape that I got from the washi tape shop and put it right here. It's so nice. On the 20th is when I get paid. So I'm going to choose. So let's just put this sticker here. She's looking a bit sad, so I want to add these ducks. Yeah, that's cute. So that brings us to the 24th. We're going to Yokohama and visit a friend. I'm going to use this house sticker over here. And maybe a tree. On the 25th, I can upload my plan with me for July. I'm just going to write July plan with me here. So I want to add this journaling sticker. Oh, it is a bit big. So I'm just going to cut this. Mm, still a bit big so I'm just gonna cover the word July um, plan the plan with me makes sense there anyway as it is okay, and now we are down to our last week of the month nothing really special is happening on this last week we just have to pay our bills by the 28th uh but i don't want to write that anymore and yeah so i'm not exactly sure what will happen in the last week yet so i think we are done here is a close-up of my monthly spread for june thank you so so much for hanging out with me today and i will see you guys in my next video Bye!